Hey guys, my name is Elijah and in today's tutorial I will show you how to save preset in Lightroom Classic. So this is my photo that I want to adjust. So I will add some contrast, lower shadows, whites, and then I will show you when I how to save this preset. So I'll add a little bit of clarity, dehaze, and a little bit of vibrance as well to make it pop and add some curve contrast as well that's a little bit too much so already down and then some color tweaking so go over to hue and I will tweak the colors a little bit like so something around this would be nice for the sake of this tutorial as you can see before and after and now I want to save these settings as a preset so first thing I will do is go over here to this plus icon. If you don't see it, then you have to click on this arrow, then click on this plus icon and click create presets. And now you have to name your presets. So I will name it tutorial preset. And then here you can create group. So click on this drop down arrow and create new group for these presets that you want to be creating. And I will name it checkmark presets and then hit create right here. Now when you are done, then you can change this to auto settings and it will basically pick for you the basic settings that it thinks you want to add to your preset or you can do it manually just by clicking here on any setting that you want or you can click down here check all or check, uh, check none. So check none will uncheck it and you can start again manually or you can click check all and it will add to your preset all of the settings here is the important thing support amount slider so keep that checked uh, if you keep that checked then uh, when you add a preset this amount slider will appear and you can increase amount of the preset or decrease amount of the preset used then hit create right here and as you can see, checkmark tutorials presets, this group has created and in here is tutorial presets. So I will click on another photo and apply tutorial preset. And as you can see, we have identical color grading with one click. So this is how you do it. If you want to uh, now disable this preset, if you don't want it anymore and you want to remove it or delete it, just select it and then click this minus icon right here and then click delete as you can see the group and the preset is deleted now and here is the amount slider slider that i have been talking about as you can see you can increase and decrease the amount if your effect is already applied so that's why you check this uh, box down so thank you guys for watching if this video was helpful to you consider subscribing and liking this video and i will see you in the next tutorial bye bye